Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today we're back in Mudrunner for a look at one of Frog's in progress trucks. It's this four door Cat Eye Duramax uh, or what it would be an LBZ and it's mildly lifted and you can see it's got a couple of other little things done to it like like some detail work with the suspension here and there, um, some nice wheels, some nice tires, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and test this thing's towing capabilities by hauling that deuce and a half to the lumber mill. Now, the guys at the lumber mill ordered that deuce and a half. They picked it up at like a, uh, I believe a, you know, just like a government vehicle auction. And it's our job to haul it up there to them and drop it off for them as they're going to use it um, for some, you know, just some stuff around the mill, maybe hauling some lumber. I'm not sure what they're going to do with it, but I've just been, you know, I've just been the one they've called to deliver it. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Now, we do require a gooseneck for this. And I thought about using the short one, but I was like, you know what? You know what? That thing's uh, that thing is properly properly big and I kind of want the flexibility that the long goose neck will give me. So, we're going to go ahead and hook that guy up and then we're going to drop the ramps and get the deuce and a half up on the trailer. Now, the only issue that this truck is going to have is the rear suspension because while it looks great um sitting still, it, when you put the weight of this deuce and a half behind it, it's not exactly like it, it'll hold it, but it's not exactly the most fond of it. And a deuce and a half is not the smallest or lightest of trucks by any means. But nonetheless, we're going to put this thing to the test and we're going to put it through properly through its paces and see what it will actually do when we ask it to haul something this big. Now, oop. Oh, Oh, okay. I was like, are you are you rolling or are you are you going somewhere? As long as you don't go anywhere, we're good. Now, let's pull those ramps back up and we're going to head off on our drive to the lumber mill. Now, as you can see, the rear suspension is uh not having a good day right now, and the trailer also has a bit of a twitch to it for some reason with that truck on it. So, I don't know how this is going to go. It might go really well. It might go it might go badly, who knows, but we're going to see, and y'all are going to come along with me and find out. So, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and set off. God, that rear suspension is squashed. Absolutely squashed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is... Oh! Holy crap. Okay, uh, I'm gonna swap trucks and see if I can back this thing up. Because I'm gonna need to in order to keep the, like, in order to keep that thing from, from bottoming out constantly. The deuce and a half is, like, doing this weird, like, twitch motion. This is probably not good for, like, the controllability of the trailer, but it keeps... <laughs> it keeps the the bed off of the rear tires, which is nice. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my god, it's caught in the freaking guardrail? Are you serious? Jeez. Alright, there we go. Hopefully we don't have to deal with that very much. I mean, if we do, then so be it. But uh, that's, that, that would properly suck if we had to. Fortunately, it's not rolling too far forward, and yeah, it's not rolling too far forward, and, and by by not rolling too far forward, we're able to keep the bedsides off of the rear tires, which is very important. We're doing okay, it's just not in the happiest of states. I'm gonna think. I'm thinking I'm, I'm gonna probably try to cruise at like half throttle in high and see if I can... See if I can just maintain a, whoa, maintain a good pace by doing that. The trailer yanked at the truck really hard just then. It really, like, I was, that was weird. It, like, tugged at the truck. As long as you, uh-oh. As long as the, the truck doesn't, uh, doesn't lurch forward on the trailer, you're pretty okay, but you always gotta watch it. It's not a, uh... It's definitely not something that you could just kind of like forget about, you know? It's not something you can just look at once and forget about because if you if you look at it once and forget about it, big problem. 
big, 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 big problem. I keep having to look back at it. I'm like, uh, are you, like, are you good? Are you good? <laughs> and so far it is. Just be nice and easy with it. I will say, high is a really, really good gear ratio in this truck because it's not, like, too fast, but it's just fast enough that you can keep, like, a good pace going on the road with a trailer, and you're not going to worry about throwing the trailer around or throwing the load off of the trailer. Um, and I'm really glad we picked the long one because I feel like if we had done the short one, not only would the rear suspension have been squatted to no end, but... But it would also, like, I feel like it would also have moved around a lot, like, moved the trailer around and tugged the trailer around a lot more. Because on the big trailer, that thing has a little bit of play back and forth. Because it's gonna move back and forth, no matter what. It's, it's gonna have some play in it. Whereas, with the short trailer, it wouldn't have that. And so, it would constantly be smashing against the, you know, the front and rear of the trailer causing it to lurch all over the place, and probably causing the truck to lurch all over the place too, which is not something that I am down for in any way, shape, or form, nor am I interested in it in any way, shape, or form. But this thing's doing really well so far. I'm not at all, not at all unhappy with its performance. It definitely feels like it, it's able to handle the weight. Like, if you position the weight in such a way that the truck is okay with it, and the rear suspension is okay with it, you're fine. You just have to really position that weight well. Because if you don't, it's a big problem. And it's a much bigger problem than you might think if you don't position the weight well. I gotta admit, though, it does look properly badass with that deuce and a half on the back. Like, it's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's not a big fan of bumps where it bottoms out the trailer suspension. Because when that happens... As you could like clearly see, it really like digs the truck in and it it's really unhappy about it. Oh yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and get it across the bridge now. And there's a couple of other things I want to try with this truck after we drop the deuce and a half off because what we'll probably do is we'll unload the deuce and a half and then we'll we'll unhook the trailer as well most likely because I want to see what this thing is like in the mud. Whoa. Oh, come on. Or we're having trouble getting it up the hill. Oh my god. Yo. It's actually like. It's actually bogging this thing down. It doesn't want to go anywhere. On pavement. Holy crap. I bet you it made the rear end too light. I bet you it made the rear end too light. Let's try that. Because now that we moved that truck forward. It may put enough weight over the... Yep, yep, we had made the rear end too, too light. Right now, the position of the deuce and a half is exactly where I'd want it. I mean, it's it's just a little bit further forward of the, tra uh, of, of the trailer axles. And so, with that being said, it puts just enough weight on the rear axle of the truck to get traction. But it also doesn't put so much weight on the rear axle that it's like... That it's like overloading the rear suspension. So you do have to think about your trailer loading strategy with this truck. But that's not really a problem. I mean that's actually fairly realistic actually. Easy does it now. The truck is probably going to shift back at some point here. Yeah, now you can see where the... Yeah, where since it's further forward, it's definitely squatting in the back. And I can actually feel how the steering has gotten lighter. Like, it's genuinely taken some weight off of the front, too. And the front has gotten lighter, so steering is a bit sketchy now. All right, let's see how she does through here. Wow, not... Not any drama at all. Literally none. It was like, oh, okay, no worries, not a problem. God, it just plowed right through there, no issues at all. Up, oh, up, oh, oh! It rolled forward. Oh my god, that is exactly what I did not want to have happen. No, I didn't mean to turn the engine off. Dang it. I didn't think the truck was going to roll forward that badly. Up, oh, but I'll tell you. There's a quick way to reload it. A very quick way to reload it. Oh, it's it's twitching. It's twitching. 
Got it. All right, now let's get out of here. I don't think we have any more steep hills to do, so that works for me. That genuinely works for me. All we got to do is drop it off at the lumber mill. Not one of my favorite loads that I've ever hauled. Uh-oh. Are you freaking kidding me? Why does the parking brake keep turning off? All right. Stop engine. Parking brake freaking on. Jeez. All right. You gonna stay on this time? Huh? You gonna stay on the... You gonna stay on the trailer hitch this time? Or are you going to roll forward like you did all those other times? I set your parking brake for a reason. I'm also going to try to not do any abrupt braking because I feel like that may also be what put me at risk with this truck. Come on, easy. Ah, we don't have much grip at the rear. But you know what? That's okay, okay stick. All right. The stick was like, yeet. It just yeeted itself right off the ground. Luckily, we're now going to be turning into the lumber mill. Woo! This has been, this has been a more eventful trip than I originally thought it was going to be. A much more eventful trip than I thought it was going to be, to be fair. Oh, boy. Come on. Ah, the truck came forward a little bit. Easy. Will it shift up in the sixth? Yes, it will. Holy crap. That's awesome. All right, you lumber mill boys. It's time to time to unload your deuce and a half. I hope you like it because it ruined the rear suspension of my Duramax. <laughs> All right. Let's get those ramps down because that's the only way we're going to get some. Oh, God. That's the only way we're going to get this ridiculous amount of load off the rear suspension of my truck. Yeah, look how much the rear suspension rose. That's ridiculous. All right, I'm going to go ahead and... Is this a parking space? It is now. <laughs> it is now. That's where y'all's deuce and a half is sitting. That's, that's, that's y'all's, that's y'all's deal now. Bring those ramps back up. And as you can see now, it's not like at all. I mean, well, it doesn't have any weight on it, but it's not like overly stressed at all. But it's a really, really nice rig. I really like it. And I definitely think that if he ever does decide to um, release this truck, it'll be a really, really fun truck. And it's a clean build. The model looks good. It drives well. And I really, really enjoyed it. So if you guys enjoyed this look at this mod, make sure to click that like button. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Subscribe for more. Hit that notification bell. And I will see you all in the next one. Talk to you guys later.